Now, you can also, um, there's some interesting new research done with dogs where the animals that have a bold personality, low fear, um, they are less vulnerable to disease. They don't get so scared in the, in the animal shelter. Okay, what's dog, what do dogs need in the animal shelter? <laughs> they need a person to come in and take them out for a fun walk and play for 45 minutes every day. Dogs need people. And I think one of the big problems today, a lot of the behavior problems, dogs aren't getting socialized. There's just been a big study at the University of Guelph. They're not getting socialized with other dogs. They're staying home alone. I hear a lot of dogs barking home alone. And I think that's one of the reasons why we got a lot more dog bites, because the animals aren't getting um, socialization that they ought to be getting. Now, when you force animals to do stuff, you get a lot more cortisol stress compared to voluntarily cooperating with procedures. True for any animal. And if you have high strung nervous genetics, you have to force it to do something, you're going to get even more stress than with calmer genetics. Make sure an animal's first experience with you, clinic, whatever, is a good first experience. Like puppy come in and get a treat in the lobby. Okay, now we're going to get worried when we get the vaccines in before puppy gets sick. So we can bring it back an hour later and give the shot. Let's try to make that first experience with something new, a new person, a new piece of equipment, a new vehicle, horse trailer, whatever, a good first experience.